G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad and I have only four words to start off this day and that's the kayak is back. Oh yeah, I went and got myself a little upgrade too. Stick around and find out more. that in. Let's go. Well, here it is guys, the Hobie Pro Angler 14, the absolute Rolls Royce of kayak fishing. I told everyone I was gonna go out and get myself a boat. I felt like we'd done a few years of land-based fishing. We did a few years of kayak fishing, and I felt in order for me to become a more all-rounded angler, I really needed to go out there and do boating. And surprisingly, that was a really, really big learning curve. Learning um, how to read your sounder, how to back a trailer, safety, all that sort of stuff with a boat. It's been 12 months now, and you know what? I feel like I'm a much, much more complete angler, but I've really, really missed kayaking, and I'm so excited to be back in the scene. The Hobie Pro Angler has got me really raring to get out there. So please join me, and hopefully we can catch a few fish on our maiden voyage. And the worst thing about kayaking is on the peak of low tide, when you've got to drag your kayak out an absolute mile, and you might be able to see right in the distance. Yeah, that's how far I've had to drag that kayak out. Knee high sand for half the way. I'm exhausted, and I haven't even started, but let's get going. What fish are we gonna catch first on the Hobie? Put out. A rod with a couple of pilchard tails on the end and then today I will be flicking soft plastics which is always my preferred and I'm just going to be using the six centimeter pro grub in motor oil it's UV motor oil I've got a tiny bit of s factor that I've put on the tail our target species today really I guess primarily is going to be flathead this is a really shallow flat area just mainly sandy a bit further down it's weedy so it's a great ground to flathead. I've caught some really good flathead here in the past. Um, the water temperature is still quite cold, so you never know, we might come across some pinkies. Um, this is actually where I did the video with that big school of salmon about 12 months ago. So you can get salmon, you've just got to be lucky. Watch out for bird life. If you see a group of birds, particularly if they're diving down into the water, that's your, uh, your number one sign that you know maybe there's some salmon in the area. Um, I've only been out in the water probably 10, 15 minutes. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed so far is this amount of space here. There's just so much space that I'm not used to with other kayaks that I've had. Usually, you know, you've got stuff all at your feet. There's stuff everywhere. Obviously this is 14 foot, so it's a little bit bigger than what I've had in the past. Um, this storage area makes a huge difference. So it seals shut and you know, then in there I've got my plastics, I've got plies and scissors. I've got two tackle boxes with all the gear that I need. So that's great because they're completely out of sight, out of mind. So that's a really, really clever design. Seal that shut. Um, I guess the storage hutch, this is like in my previous kayak, there's no way that I would have attempted to open this and put jumpers and all that sort of stuff in there. It's actually really easy to get to. Um, these straps make it really easy to open and shut. But again, um, in my native, there's no way I would have ever considered doing that. Probably because that lid was really hard to open. And because you had the pedals in front of you, you had to kind of jump over them. So that's another really cool thing. Um, these rod storages at the front, at the first I thought, oh, will I use them or not? It's actually really cool. I had the rods in them, I guess, when I took off. Um, instead of having them behind me, I was able to have the net and other bits and pieces. So they actually were pretty good and really out of the way. Um, the Mirage system, obviously very, very cool guys. I mean, one of the things I noticed right away is you just push these buttons in, you can adjust them to your, your feet length. They've got the holes here that you can adjust straight away. So quite literally within, you know, 30 or 40 seconds, I adjusted that to, you know, what was really comfortable for my feet. Um, again, not having those pedals right in front of you, that's kind of cool. You just, you just feel like there's a little bit less that's distracting you. Um, you've got the hay trails on each side. Obviously I've got the, the low round sounder, which is mounted. Um, you've got rudder st steering on both sides, which is, yeah, pretty cool. Um, you've got little storage 
trays like this, which of course I've got pliers, some S Factor and stuff in there. So you've got one of those on each side. Um, you can, I guess, lift the rudder um, and that from here. So obviously once I'm done fishing today, bang, you lift that up, the rudder locks away. When you drag it on the sand, you're not gonna damage the rudder. So some really cool features. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. <gasps> there it is, look at that. Oh, that was amazing. So birds diving, so there must have been a big school of bait there. And then I saw dolphins coming up. It's amazing. Was really wasn't that far away at all. Yep. yep. What do we got? What do we got? Let's have a look. Oh, nice big floody. There we go. Well, up you come, up you come. Oh. Try my best to lose this fish. Though, my kayak is on the board. Look at that, that's a ripping size flathead. That's probably, oh, I'm gonna say that's mid 30s easy. Maybe a tiny bit bigger. And the kayak has been christened. Bouncing around. A bit like a washing machine at the moment, so. Oh, look at this. Big school of bait there. So we'd hope you might have a predatory fish sitting underneath that. You know, a dilly flathead or something. But we're pretty much right on top of that now. Oh, see what I mean? Here we go, look at that. Straight as I said it, got a couple of hits on the soft plastic. It's doing, doing, doing. It's still got Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. So we've got a... This leader feels a little bit shredded now. But, oh, yeah, we've got another one. Oh, we're having a good run here now. How's this for a perfect way to finish the day, guys? An absolutely breathtaking sunset. Managed to catch some fish. The conditions have just flattened out completely. It's a real shame that I didn't have a longer window. Um, I've probably only been on the water for about 90 minutes uh, by the time we launched. And yeah, it's a real shame um, that we probably went out an hour earlier. I dare say though, with daylight savings, um, which I think is this weekend, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful out here in the coming months, you know, being able to finish after work and still get a good three or four hours on the water. Um, but for me, guys, I don't like to be out here in the dark. Another five minutes, it'll be pitch dark. So pretty damn glad I'm not too far away from the shore now, just to be honest. It's hard to even see where the car is.